Alright, so here's the first change you're going to notice is now I changed the text boxes. And I like these ones a lot better than what I had before. And it just feels all around nicer. Now, I don't need to show any more of this, so back to this room. Alright, so this is the same as it's always been. You talk to Barlock up here, and he pretty much tells you how to use your fists. Now, that's not supposed to show the box, but it's an invisible box that shows where you're supposed to hit, just so you know. Now, this is all exactly the same. I even have the same battle background right now. So, you just pick up the key, bam, go, let him out, and he does exactly what he did before, and then you let out Kandor, and he says the same stuff and he attacks you. Now, I haven't changed the background, there's no need to. So, let me turn down the volume a little bit. Alright, so, I changed the battle stance, so he's more of a battle-ready stance. And that's the main change for the battle. Um, I'm planning on doing a bunch more to make it more fluent. But, so far... Oh, I also made it go faster. Also perfected that. So, and Kanda runs away like he usually does. Now, after the prison is where most of the changes are taking place. So, prepare your hearts. As you can see, I now have an area outside of the prison. And a little banner appears in the upper left hand corner. This is all the same. So, walk in, walk in. Oh! So we fight this guy. Um, I haven't made it so the background's changed yet. It's supposed to change depending on who you're fighting. So, that needs to be done. So he's done. You absorb his points and you move on. Take the coins. I gotta work on the coins a little bit. And now we're into some new areas. Now you can go that way. And you can also, this is where you get out of the cart. And you can also go this way. However, this side isn't, there's nothing that goes over there yet. So no point in going that way. Um, but I did work on what's on this side of the road. And here's some more bushes. And when you get close to this, a little question mark appears. Now, you'll have to actually buy this ability, or learn this ability, or buy this item, but you are able to mine, and you collect ores. Now, it's a little bit glitchy right now, but you hold the A button, which would be the ability button, and there you go. That goes along with punching and mining. Um, the punching will always be there, that's just like your initiating battle button, which you just smack someone and then the battle starts, and then this you'll be able to change which item you have out and this is just a pickaxe. You'll have to buy it though. I just have it instantly for testing purposes. And you can't pick up the ores or anything yet because I'm just still working on it, but you'll be able to sell the ores to shops and stuff. And here's Bluewood Village and here's the flower people. I don't know what to call them yet. This town is so peaceful. He says the same thing as that guy. Now there's a building. Um, I'm gonna add some more eventually. There's the original old man. He says the same thing. I haven't customized them very much. Now, I added trees. Now, as you can see, the trees, they fade away when you get close to them. They become more transparent. That's so you can see when you're behind the trees. Because I didn't want you to not be able to see. So this is Bluewood Village, and I didn't get a lot of work done on it yet. But I did a lot of work on the tile sets and making them look nice. To the best of my ability, anyway. <laughs> I mean, I can probably upgrade them a little bit. But also, every single square on the ground I had to place by hand like it isn't just a single sheet so it took me a long time to do that um, now let me fight this guy it's not gonna work correctly first of all um, there's also a menu that I'm working on but it's not done yet so you attack now eventually you're gonna actually punch them and then the battle will start but I had a hard time with that so also, it's not adjusting because there's no flower enemy, so he's currently the guard. Because you can't fight the flower guy yet. They'll be a lot weaker, though. Um, so I'm kind of working. Uh, Wick will be in here. The guardian robot, I believe, he'll be in this town. Or he'll be in Brightburg. I believe, actually, he's going to be in Brightburg, I lied. Brightburg is the town that will be to the left, and this is Bluewood. Bluewood here is the village of the blue tree. And I haven't put that in there yet, but there's a big story arc there. Um, I really kind of ran out of things to show you. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, around New Year's, I took a hiatus, which I didn't even touch the game or work on it for like over a month. 
and I just like started, I think in the end of January I started working on it again. I had to take a break to figure out what I wanted to do with the game because I was run dry. Um, let's just say I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, so I took a month off so I could plan and think and brainstorm and get new ideas because I was stumped. I didn't know what to do with the game. But you see, it's paying off. Um, I need to do some more graphical updates here. Um, some glitches and stuff. Um, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do it, the graphical art style or anything, and I was having a horrible time. Now, I'm sorry to ramble, but that's what this video is kind of for, so you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Um, I wanted to make the game look nice, but I didn't know how, and I didn't know how to make the game look, so it felt like it looked the way it should, and I just got so stuck with it. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with the game, and I started the game with a horrible lack of direction, going, I just want to be the bad guy. But RPGs are not really good for being bad guys, because trading with shops and everything, and talking to characters and helping people, is usually what happens in RPGs. But I have a really good thing going on here, and everything, and I'm working on the intro, because... You're gonna do a little bit before you go to the prison, showing how Dexel like comes and gets captured, because Dexel starts off weakened from his like imprisonment, not from the prison, but he was also in a different kind of prison. Um, I'll explain that later. Um, that's pretty much all I have to show you for this week. But I've been working on it for a couple hours a day or an hour or two a day. Like I work a lot and I play a lot of other video games, and this is kind of like my side project. I don't want it to feel like a job. But I'm, I'll try to do... I'm not going to do it weekly. I might do it weekly. I might do it more than weekly. If I have something cool to show you, I'll show you early. I'm not going to do a scheduled thing because... Yeah, just what I'm saying. I'll. If you check out my Twitter, though, I'll try posting my updates as I do them without making a video. I only have six followers as of right now. And I talk about a lot of stuff on there. Not, I don't really talk about a lot of stuff, but I would if I had more people to read it. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I also like to work on my other Let's Plays and stuff. Um, but you'll be able to buy items, buy upgrades, upgrade your guy. You use the soul points to get new abilities, such as, like, I want to add sprinting and stuff like that. So, sorry if I talked your ear off, but it's been, like, months since I made a Shadow of Dexel video. So, I will talk to you all later, and I hope you guys are looking forward to this. And thanks for your patience, and thanks for watching, and if you like everything you see leave a comment, and if you have any ideas of stuff that you'd like to add, or I, would, I should add anyway, per se, um, leave me a comment, or comment on my Twitter. Um, everybody that submitted your characters, do not worry, they're going to be in the game. I'm not going to just throw them in the first level just to put them in there, um, unless you want to make like villagers or something, but a lot of the characters I'm getting are better for like later on in the game, and I'm still working on the foundation, and I'm working on the sprites, and I'm working on the tile sets, and I'm working on the game's design more than actually getting the plot forward. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.